Good morning again, viewers and viewers from the Central Coast, Alambi Heights, Karengai Chase, Newcastle, Gosford, Wollongong, Batemans Bay, Shoalhaven, Nowra, you name it. We bring the shows to you every week here at Zen Times and thank you so much for watching wherever you may be watching and cats if you're watching up there on the central coast in Gosford we hope that you are watching the show today well coming up in the, on the show now we're gonna be talking again on how to avoid the common cold now just before the break I showed you my sanitizer here and I've already put some on today and and now I'd like to talk about how to count or shift if you are sick now when they're coming on the dreaded worgy can be a pain in the neck and you are unable to do a shift now how to cancel a shift there is a, an app which you can access by canceling a shift and when to cancel a shift don't cancel it on the day cancel it beforehand so that the manager can can um, replace you sooner rather than later joining me now again in the studio um, Georgia and my special guest from last week good morning to both of you welcome to the show thank you Barry good morning thanks Barry good morning it's Alec here again so how they cancel a ship like i just mentioned there is an app which you can access here's my offside yeah so um first thing first is to probably call your manager to let them know in case they don't see the app request um just to let them know even if you do wake up the day of so they can quickly rearrange the roster and then, yeah, you can, for our workplace, you can go onto an app and put in your leave. Um, but yeah, for some workplaces, if there's not an app, just let your manager know. So, if you are unwell at work, please to, to tell your site manager immediately, sooner rather than later, hit my offside. Do you want me to take this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah so I, I agree with that as well. I agree with what Georgia was saying. And I, and Barry, you were right. I reckon um, if, you're, if you feel sick at work, you shouldn't hang around. You should tell your manager and say, I'm not feeling well. Because you don't want other people to get sick too, right? You, you, uh, you want to make sure that you don't spread your, your bugs around. So um, that you head home. So what would you do, Georgia? say if I was unwell at work? If you were unwell, I would um, make sure that you were feeling okay and then you felt like you were still okay to maybe go home. And then I would talk to the manager and see if we can organize transport for you earlier than you would normally go home um, to take you home and then get in bed and have some soup and maybe some medicine and maybe um, you can just relax at home until you start feeling better because there's no point in you waiting out the whole day until you normally leave around two um, if you feel sick because we won't be able to do any fun activities here and it won't benefit anyone. So, another common thing during the winter is gastro bugs. Now, they are very nasty. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's right. And they can be particularly bad and they can hit you at any time. And that's one that you definitely don't want to spread around. So 
if you're working somewhere, you definitely don't, and you have gastro, you definitely don't want to go in and, and give other people that one. It's very, very nasty. Okay. So, even, okay, you may wake up with severe abdominal pain. That what happened to me. I got ready to go to to work the following one day. I got up. Okay, I won't go into too much detail, but I can tell you I was not my, my usual self. I was just about to head off to come here and and 20 minutes before I was due to believe, I was not very well at all. So I had to ring the taxi driver. Well, the health manager had to ring the taxi and tell him not to come and get me, sir. So I knew that I was not feeling well on that day. So don't just ring when, when he's not, not already there. Tell him beforehand, like seven o'clock in the morning. So if I was sick, I would probably tell the manager, okay, so he, uh, he or she can ring the taxi and say that I won't be coming in. And then I rang Cad and said, I won't be in today. Yeah. Can, uh, sickness can strike at any time, even when you get up in the morning, guys. So if you feel like absolute rubbish on the day of your shift, say like if you started shift at nine o'clock in the morning, Please do ring at seven or or text or text the manager. Keep my offside. Yeah, it's definitely important to, especially sometimes when sickness creeps up on you the morning of. As soon as you wake up, um, if you feel sick, you don't need to hesitate. Um, just text the manager or call the manager um, so that they can organise things straight away. Um, add respect for everyone else's jobs, like the taxi driver. Um, and the DSP that might be working with you or the client that you're working with as a DSP? So, so if I was not well whilst I was here, I would then tell the person who was assisting with me and then arrange with the manager to go home and ring the house. Here's my offside. Yeah, so um, that, that's exactly right, Barry. So I think even if you do actually come in and then start to feel sick, you then should still think about, do I need to go home? Yes, I probably do. Tell your assistant, tell, tell the person who's assisting you that day. Talk to the manager and they'll call you a taxi. They'll figure out how to get you home. And it's good for you and it's good for everybody else. So it means that other people are less likely to get sick as well. And it means that um, you can go home, maybe go to bed if, if that's gonna make you feel better, maybe get to a more comfortable place, you know? So it's, it's kind of uh, a win-win all around. It's good for everyone if you head home. Okay, so don't come in all snotty and with a runny nose as well, okay, especially with gastro guys, because nah, that is not the way to do it. Deal with your health first. Here's my offside. My one again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think this, the snotty nose is an interesting one because um, that one really is going to mean that you're probably going to give whatever you've got, the cold or the flu or gastro, to someone else, you know. So, and because everybody sort of touches their face, um, you know, you, you are quite likely to spread a cold around if, if you've got a snowy nose. 
Um, so yeah, it's absolutely good to make sure you don't come in, particularly if you've got a work shift, um, if you've got a runny nose and you're likely to infect other people. You know, stay home or go home. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense. So, so, so I would then tell, tell um, um, the managers here, and then I would ring back out and say I'm not very well. Can I come home and go to bed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, another way of avoiding the common cold is avoiding sickness. Okay, is having a nice hot shower to get rid of all the cobwebs. And then once you've had your shower, guys, climb back into bed for a couple of days until you look more alive, more human. Because the more rest you get, the better. So cancel your ship, guys, sooner (laughs) rather than later, please. Don't cancel it 20 minutes before. Uh, cancel it in the morning. So cancel it the night before if you are doing a, a morning shift, say at 6 a.m. in the morning. Okay, but if you are doing a, an afternoon shift, ring at 9 o'clock in the morning so that the manager can get someone in to replace you, replace you, so be considerate of others, guys. Don't spread your germs around like strawberry jam. And again, um, Alec, with that quote. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, don't spread it around like strawberry jam, I totally agree. And, and I think what you're saying is give your manager as much time as possible. So as soon as you know that you're not going to be good for work, whether that's, you know, two hours or the night before or the day before, you know, so give your manager as much time as possible. That way they have time to ring around, find somebody else to cover the shift so that nobody's left in the lurch. Um, I think that's absolutely right. Absolutely right. Because it's not, it's absolutely not right to spread your germs around like, stra- like strawberry jam. <laughs> or like playing a battle or or Vegemite. So guys, please be aware of the dangers you could be um, spreading around on everybody else and cancel your, your plans, go to the doctors, that sort of thing. And now, here's the closing segment and the recap of what we've talked about. 